आइए जल्दी करो स्मिला और ब्रदर प्लीज आइडेंटिफाई एम साउ I have a big problem that I have been attending most of the lectures I missed two uh, the most interesting one but anyway when uh, the lectures are in the masjid it's after isha and this uh, is bothering me a lot to the day how this professor la don't delay the prayer time and when it is out of the masjid we start exactly at isha time and go beyond that and Allah Baal and don't know how many brothers and sisters name is Ishaan so I need a justifiable explanation on this one Jazakallah Khair Okay, as soon as the program is finished we should perform our Salat to Isha the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam and his companion would delay Isha delay it to get a bigger gathering for the Salat We have not been engaged in anything connected to the dunya. We have not been wasting time here. We have been engaged in something connected with knowledge. And to delay the salat for the purpose of dealing with something connected with knowledge is permissible. Thank you. Can we have something, a question that is related to the whole topic tonight? Can we have something? Ladies first. Oh, both men. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rashid and I'd like to ask one. Uh, when it is first, uh, could you kindly explain more for the Awai Tukil Musallin Al-Lazinam Ansala Bin Sahul Al-Lazinam Mirawun Wa Yamna Wa Yamna Wa Yamna Could you roughly explain to me more for the I'm very happy that you asked that question. Sometimes we perform Salat for prayer and the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam informs us that Allah takes that salat and throws it back in our faces throws it back of course there are some who don't even perform salat hmm? how do we know that we are in fact performing salat hmm? well one of the first tests to know that you are in fact really performing salat is inna salata tanha ani fahshai wa nunka that salat keeps you away from evil and from indecencies so if Allah forbid if someone has been sleeping with his neighbor's wife it is something that is increasingly occurring now in this godless world and he's performing salat and this salat cannot take him away from that awesome sin that dirty deed then he's not performing salat if someone is drinking whiskey and he's performing salat and the salat cannot take him away from the whiskey then he's not performing salat so whatever be the sin whatever be the indecency in which we are engaged in life if it is salat that we are performing then salat should take us away from it then we know it is salat thank you Malana next question brother My name is Usman. I have a, a great admiration for the refreshing uh, new insight on the surrogate motherhood that you propose. Uh, I'd like to ask you, what about the, uh, the older tafsir of this hadith regarding the the maid who bought the mistress the man who the maid who bears the mistress the maid who bears yeah, the, 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 the maid that you give birth to 
the mistress. The mistress. Yes. Because this is the mistress. Yes. Yeah. There are many other interpretations of this sign. What I am giving you is the interpretation which has convinced me. I would rather not speak about other interpretations of this particular work. That is the research that you can conduct on your own. Okay. Thank you very much. There's one question which came to me in writing. It said that uh, how could we achieve Ahsan in today's context? What time is it? The time is now 10 past 10. And how Allah only has got about one minute to answer. How can the heart be made to see? How can we get light inside the heart with which to see? That is the subject which is missing in this lecture. The answer to that question is located in Surah al -Nur, in Ayah number 35, where Allah says, Allah is the light of the heavens and of the earth. That which will help you to understand His light is this, a hollow space a hollow space which the Prophet ﷺ declared is in the chest of the, of the believer. And in that hollow space there is a lamp. And the lamp is enclosed by a glass. We tried to get a lamp for tonight, but you know there is no lamp in Singapore? No? No? <laughs> we tried to get a lamp for tonight. The lamp is enclosed by a glass. The glass is so spotlessly clean that it glitters like a shining star. And so if you want to have internal light with which to see, you have to begin with tazkiyah, purifying and cleansing the heart. And when the heart has been cleansed and purified, you would know it. Because you, your dreams will tell you. This is the importance of dreams. Then you have to keep on polishing the glass for it to glitter. The Prophet said that the polish is zikr. Zikr is not a mechanical act. Zikr is something best understood in the in the love that a man has for a woman. When there is true love in the heart, then the memory of the beloved will always come to refresh the heart. The remembrance of that beloved comes and brings fragrance in the heart. That's zikr. That is zikr. Hmm? And so, it is with that kind of love that we must love Allah. That when we think of him, it brings a fragrance in our heart. That is zikr. That zikr, he says, polishes the heart. And then he says that this lamp is lit with an oil. Not any old oil. But the oil which comes from a blessed olive tree. An olive tree which leans neither to the east nor to the west, but stands firmly for Allah. Like the man who says, Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahiyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbin alameen. Verily my prayer and my service.